What's good, every pony? Red Chaos here, and with me is. Hi, everybody. I'm Princess Dark. Dark. Fake. You mean Dark? Dark Princess Fake. Well, there you go. And we are going to be reviewing. We're going to be reviewing season two of My Little Pony: The Canterlot Wedding. This is part one, so. So I think we should let Fake World well start off because she's the one that watched it first before me. So. So basically, part one is basically about Cadence and Shining Armour having a wedding. Clearly. It's ca clearly. So we're basically going to react to it. So basically, so basically, it's so basically, twi basically, Twilight gets invited to Cadence's wedding, which Cadence and, which Twilight and her friends get invited to Cadence's wedding. Unannounced to them, Twilight senses evil, which we all know, which we we should all know by now is is Queen Chrysalis. And if you don't know that, we're sorry. Yeah, if you don't, yeah. See, I'll break the fourth wall. See, this is what makes <laughs> see this is what makes me like dead. See, yeah, you can tell, yeah, you can tell I do Deadpool. Right, back on topic. So anyway, so anyway, Twilight senses something evil and. She doesn't decide. She's decided doesn't. She doesn't want to go to wedding, but her friends force her to. Which and naturally she has to play along. Yeah, naturally she has to play along. But no, her sensing evil is something I've I've expected because personally, personally myself as someone who's been invited to a couple weddings myself, actually three weddings to be exact. And I took part in two of them. No joke, I actually have. My, be I was best man at my best friend Andrews, and I was w I was giving my mum away to Glenn. So yeah, I had a very important. I had two very important jobs. So it is. So I'm just saying it, it is with the topic. So I can do it. Go on then, keep going. So, basically, obviously, the wedding takes place, and then everyone has to get ready, and we we all notice that something's wrong with Cadence. She isn't acting like she normally does. She's not happy. She's very off. Mm -hmm. And and as as some of us may know, that that she. She, when Twilight found out that she was using a mind control spell on, on Shining Armor, mm -hmm. nailed it. That's when she knew. That's when Chris. That's when Cadence was found out by Twilight. So, Chrysalis being, Cadence being Chris with evil Chrysalis, which is e evil Cadence being Chrysalis, sends Twilight down to the crystal. Down, down to the crystal prison, basically. Yeah, down to the crystal prison, where the actual where 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 the real princess Cadence is, by the way. Spoilers. Spoilers. So, anyway. So anyway, we know that, and then, okay, I have one nitpick about this because <laughs> I I'm sorry, but this is my one nitpick. <laughs> Why the fuck do they have to use the bouquet joke? In the episode, seriously, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, let's both agree on one thing though. The song on it, it was really, really good. Yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. Yeah, and some and some people that do covers of it, you still can't beat the original. I'm sorry, no. but I'm sorry, but I call me old fashioned, but which I am, cause, you know. Born in ninety five, so being a poke boy that plays po being the being the brony that plays Pokemon. Ooh, sorry, Jess. Did I take a little jab at you? Sorry. Gotta catch me. Pokemon. <laughs> oh, off topic. Hang on. <laughs> so anyway, this is just part one, and I hope you'd be ready for part two. So this is Red Chaos. This has been Red Chaos. 
And this has been Dark Princess Bakewell. So enjoy. Thank you for watching. Peace. Okay, you guys, welcome back for part two of our review of a Cantalot wedding. So, as I'm, as, as I'm going to explain it now. So, okay, my nitpick was earlier that was used in the first bit of the song that was good from the first one, uh, part one. But okay, now let's go to part two. Bakewell, yep. take it away. Well, basically. We find out that Cadence isn't really Cadence, is Queen Chrysalis. And basically, she sings the song all over again, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the reprise. Yep. As we call, as some of us, as some of us musical fans know it as a reprise. So if you understand that, guys, this is just little musical talk. Uh, get back to Bakewell. And basically, she takes over the kingdom, and basically, Shining Armor is still under a spell, but Twilight, like, basically helps Cadence so she can go towards Shining Armor and basically set him free from her spell. Yeah. Day next, marking our motherfuckers, because the power of love. Triumphs over, triumphs over evil all the time. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Come on. I, Chrysalis. I'm not a Changeling fan at all. I wasn't back then. And I'm not now. But seriously, Chrysalis. Next time, play... Oh wait, season six, you did play your cards right, <laughs> and you still got fucked. Spoilers. Spoilers, but never mind. Seriously, it's true though, like, fucking, <clears throat> fucking Christmas, just give up being a bad guy, you fucking lose every fucking You're time. You're not very good at it. Yeah. But I think, yeah, so basically, what I've seen of it, it's like, yeah, before yeah, but then we get that awesome battle between Chrysalis and Princess Celestia, which didn't end well for Celestia. Yeah, being the person that rule that that likes the Lunar Republic, so long live the Lunar Republic. Yeah, long live Luna. Yeah, so I'm from the, yeah, as you probably know, I'm the Lunar Republic guy, but Celestia. Seriously, you're getting your ass kicked by a changeling. Not just any changeling, the queen of the changelings. Yeah, I know. I but, mean, come on. Yeah, but still, fucking, you, you are basically a fucking god. How the fuck did you lose to a queen? Huh? Fucking. I think Celestia has some explaining to do. Ah, oh, jeez. Mother of Luna. Anyway, let's continue. Mm -hmm. And basically, when Cadence and Shining Armor come together, they both use, well... As, what I, as I just said, the power of love. Yes. And they basically form together and beat Chrysalis. And basically wipe her out of the kingdom. That... Uh, and that was, and then we get to the actual proper wedding with the kings and shining armor, and that was a Cantalot wedding. Yeah, where Twilight sings the, um, I can't remember what it was. Uh, I think she sings the. I'm trying. I don't. I don't actually listen to Twilight singing. That's something, something I don't do. I think it starts off, Love is in bloom, a beautiful bride and a handsome groom. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, overall, guys, my, my my first thoughts when I first watched part one, part one, as you probably might tell, if you want to check the first one out, please feel free to. 
Uh, overall, I think both part, the both two parters were really good, and considering I've dropped more than a few spoilers, <laughs> my bad. But hey, that's what you get for your That's what you get for being the fourth wall breaking, fourth wall breaking Earth pony. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, besides, yeah, coming from the, coming from a vampire and a corn. Yep. That's me, guys. So, anyway, this is Red Chaos. And this is Dark Princess Fake Cloth. Thank you for watching. Laters. Peace.